The U.S. tax reform bill could be more harmful than the cancellation of NAFTA for Mexico's economy. Great Britain is with Mexico, whoever wins the presidency, and a report highlights young Mexicans are achieving the American dream sooner than their U.S. counterparts. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News Business. I'm Elliot Bullman. Let's go straight into the information. The US may be about to set off an international tax war as it moves to slash the corporate rate and overhaul the treatment of multinational firms. Trump's corporate tax reforms could spell big trouble for Mexican exports. EU members are also going on the offensive, citing that Trump will incite an international tax war if the bill passes the US Senate on Wednesday. Tuesday saw 12 Republicans and all Democrat members of the House oppose the bill, which passed by 227 votes to 203, to loud cheers and applause from Republicans in the chamber. The first issue is the decrease of the US corporate tax rate to 20%. The rate that the United States charges today to companies is 35%, while in Mexico it remains at 30%. If the rate is 10% lower in the United States, the only competitive advantage in Mexico would be lower wages. The second issue is the zero rate in repatriation of capital. The current rate is 18%. If Donald Trump manages to get the rate lowered to 10%, there'd be capital outflows of between $9 and $11 billion. Thirdly, Trump intends to levy a new 20% tax on the money that parent companies invest in their subsidiaries outside the United States, which would of course disincentivize FDI into Mexico. A combination of these three factors could bury Mexico's export model of high-value merchandise. Together, these measures would cost the US more than $1.4 trillion in revenue. To face a new fiscal framework in the United States, Mexico would have to undertake a new fiscal reform that contemplates lower corporate tax burdens and lower spending, which is complex because it's an election year. In other news, whoever wins Mexico's presidential elections in 2018, the government of Great Britain confirmed it will continue its work and, and efforts to strengthen trade relations and friendship with Latin America's second largest economy. In an interview for the Notimex agency, Duncan Taylor, the ambassador of Great Britain to Mexico, explained that his country will follow next year's elections with a great deal of interest. He cited that there are more than 2,000 Mexican students who have educational exchanges with UK institutions and half a million English tourists visit Mexico every year. And this is growing more and more. He went on to say that the UK government has a very good relationship with the Mexican government, with the private sector and with civil society. In 2016 alone, both nations registered a total of $2.54 billion of exports and a total of $2.4 billion of imports. These types of initiatives show the great commercial relationship that Mexico and the UK continue to forge. Just this week, the economy secretary, Ildefonso Guajardo, is in Brussels trying to agree on the modern nation of this agreement, Taylor said, noting that the negotiations of his country seek to establish a transition of the trade agreement with the European Union towards a new one that reflects a new commercial relationship. In other news, a new report published by the Washington think tank Pew Research reveals that Chinese and Mexican ho young homeowners are achieving the American dream at a higher rate than evidenced by the same social group in the United States. The report, commissioned by the Banking and Financial Services holding HSBC, found that 70% of millennials in China, 46% of Mexicans and 41% of French people already own a home, compared to only 35% of young Americans. According to HSBC, the dream of housing is not dead, but deferred for many millennials around the world as a result of slow wage growth and the inflation of brick prices, these being the biggest barriers for the youngest in each country to acquire a house. Established from interviews with 9,000 people living in nine countries, globally this study states that four out of every 10 millennials in the world own their own home. 
Among those still living, rent with or with their parents, more than four out of five intend to purchase in the next five years. However, young people of the millennial generation still face significant challenges when it comes to the affordability of housing. 69% of those who try to buy and have not yet saved enough for a deposit and 34% are constrained because they can't afford the type of property that they would like. And finally, let's turn to the markets. The Mexican peso increased 0.56% to 19.3 from 19.19 in the previous trading session. IPC Mexico decreased 13 points or 0.03% to 48,390 on Wednesday, December the 20th from 48,403 in the previous trading session. This was all for today. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Elliot Bullman. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus and log on to MexicoNewsNetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.